Lunch on a Plane. James had just re received his lunch on the Asian Airlines flight to Perth. He is not happy and looking for an Australian football lunch. It's not what he gets and he's definitely not happy. What is this? Air hostess, Asian lady, mid-twenties, very polite. That's your lunch, sir. Throw a fried chicken with rice. So you stand the chicken. Why? You ain't need to cook it. What's the brown stuff on it? That's her satay sauce with your chicken. I want some dead horse. I'm sorry, sir, but we don't have any dead horses on the plane. I just want a little, you know, to put on my sausage. I beg your pardon, sir. You know, make your sausage taste better. It's right down your throat better. I'm very sorry, sir, but we don't have any dead horses, and certainly not to put on your sausage. The cat needs a bit of sausage with, uh, with dead horse. I'm very sorry, sir. We don't have any sausages or dead horses for your cat either. What's the name of your cat, sir? And what kind of cat is it? Well, her name is Fluffy Lamb Chop. She gets very bad tempered if she doesn't get one to get her meat. Oh dear, sir. The best you run to the cave up then, sir. Curious passion. Leans over to, to James and I says, Do you think she understood why you wanted a dead horse? I don't understand either. Oh, I don't want a dead horse. I want a tomato sauce. You see, dead horse, tomato sauce. Hmm, well that's different. He has to, it's just one moves off to feed down the passengers. He has to, moves off with the trolley, while looking back with the chains with a worry and suspicion. He reaches the back of the plane where the other air hostess and stewards are. He bends over to speak to them in soft tones of desperation. Hi, I, I see that man with a cat, but I keep watching him. There's something about him, he's not quite right. He keeps asking for dead horse and wants to put it, put it on his face. I think we better get a close watch on him. What's he going to do with a dead horse and his sausage? As far as I can understand, he's going to feed it with his lunch. He's going to eat it with his lunch and feed it to his cat. Oh, Christ. How big is the cat? Are you sure we say? Oh, it's not that big. He said it would get some issues. So I just was a bit worried about it myself. Who let him on the plane with a cat? I thought we had good screening processes. How could anyone get him on, let him get on the plane? I don't think you were safe with him and his cat. Oh, uh, didn't you hear what happened last week with the duck? No, what happened? Well, it was just really strange. This chap tried to bring his white pet duck on a lead onto the flight. They refused him, of course, on the ground that were on grounds of health and quarantine. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. Why not this man? No, not so good. It went viral and turned into a public relations nightmare on animal rights. Oh, so, so he, he, ha, he had to get on the flight. I planned to have a quiet, uneventful evening. Why couldn't he fly with somebody else? James was eating his lunch while complaining the whole time and feeding some of his lunch to the flappy lamb chop with disaster results. I don't know why I couldn't have a simple Australian lunch with a meat pie and tomato sauce. I don't think it's asking too much. I've given some of, I gave some of the chicken to Fluffy Lamb Chop. She seems to like it with a satay sauce. The cat eats the chicken and becomes very agitated, starts falling out loudly. Wow! 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 Passing to number one, a middle-aged man with a weather beaten face, intolerant towards an wayward animals and people. He's generally intolerant and has a short view. Will you shut up the regular that infernal animal? Will you all, will you all please be quiet? I'm trying to settle it down. I think she's been poisoned by the chicken with a, with a sauce. What? You mean poisoned? What, what are you saying? We've all been poisoned uh, by the staff uh, We've been poisoned! We've been poisoned! Will you shut up? You're upsetting life every name up. What's the problem, sir? He, 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 he just stopped screaming. He's up there. He's lovely name up. No, sir. Not you, sir. I'm talking, we're talking to him. What is your problem? We're all been poisoned by the stir fry. He said so. Sir, I can assure you he's not been poisoned. Sir, please. I ask you to stop snarling noises in your cat. It's making and it, it, it's making. It's frightening the other passengers. Well, tell him to stop screaming about being poisoned. It's giving me a headache and fluffy term chop. He's getting very upset too. 
He will slap his lame job in a minute if it doesn't stop that infernal racket. You two giving me a migraine. Can I give you something, man? Yes. Some earplugs and some tranqu strong tranquilizers. Tranquilizers, man? We don't have tranquilizers, man. Penny, I give one to the cat and one to the other two. Yes, I can understand, ma'am. Uh, now, sir, do you understand? You're not being poisoned and you need to stay calm and quiet. 